Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode with Hayden B. Grilling. Now, tonight, we're going to make a recipe that I've been sitting on it for a while. Every time I think I'm ready to make it, I see something else that catches my attention a little bit more. But tonight, we're going to do it. There's some easy stuffed chicken breast. So let's get after it. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and peel and cube up eight potatoes. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take these two jalapenos here, and we're going to remove the seeds and cut them down the middle. What I mean by that is... We're just going to take our knife, go right down the middle, split that dude in half, and then we're going to remove the seeds in the membrane. I want our jalapeno to look pretty well like that. Also, after cutting and dealing with those peppers, it's a good idea to wash your hands. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to crack two eggs into a bowl or a pan, whatever you want to use. Oh, got a little shell in that. Dig that out there. <laughs> but we're gonna put two eggs in here and then we're just gonna beat them in almost like you would do if you were making some scrambled eggs. We're gonna add us a little bit of salt. Add us a little bit of pepper. Then we're just gonna take these eggs, just beat them. Next, we're gonna pour flour into a bowl. It doesn't have to be a set amount, just enough to do these four chicken breasts. Next, we're gonna pour some breadcrumbs into a pan. Again, we're only doing four chicken breasts. pre station set up. We got our eggs, our flour, and our breadcrumbs. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, I've got my chicken breast here. Turn it long ways for you. We're gonna cut a slit right down the middle, but we're not gonna go all the way through. We're not gonna cut it in half. Now that we got our chickens cut, I'm gonna take the old Granny Moore's Good Rub here. I'm just gonna season it on the top. Next, I'm gonna use a set of tongs here. I'm gonna grab one of these chickens and I'm gonna put them in this flour. Yeah, get it good and coated. Uh-oh, kinda poked that one all the way through. All right, so now that I got this chicken Nice and coated with the flour. Next step, we're gonna take this chicken and put it in our egg batter. Get it good and coated with that egg. Lastly, then well, let me get that side there a little bit better. Good and coated with our egg here. Then we're going to take it and we're going to set it in this pan of breadcrumbs. There we go. Folks, that's looking right. Then we're going to take our chicken. We're going to set it on top of our potatoes. So do that with your remaining chickens. Now the next thing we're going to do... We're going to take some bacon and we're going to cut it to where basically it'll fit the length of that slit that we put that we cut into the top of the chicken breast. So this here is how roughly how it should look. All right, we're almost done, I promise. Next, we're going to cut some cream cheese and we're going to put it in our jalapeno here, kind of like we did with that uh, Italian sausage the other day. We're just gonna take it and work it, cream cheese with our thumb, get it nice and smoothened out all throughout the pepper, like so. Now that we've got our peppers ready, basically we're gonna lay them right there, kind of mash it down just a little bit into that slit that we cut onto the chicken. Now we're going to take the cheddar cheese and sprinkle the cheddar cheese right here on top of our pepper. This here should be what the final product looks like before we put it in the oven. Now I already when I seasoned the chicken with that Granny Moore's Good Rub I sprinkled some of that seasoning in on our potatoes. I'm about to slap this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. The timer did just go off but it's chicken, right? And last thing I want to do is get my family sick. So I'm going to cut into one of these just to check and see how the chicken's looking. That was way 
still had a lot long way to go so i put it back in the oven and i bumped my heat up to 400 set it for another 30 minutes i mean it it was just still very very raw like just as soon as you cut into it so i just went off after another 30 minutes at 400 degrees still just a slight little bit of pink so we just put it back in there gonna let it go another five minutes all right folks just pulled these out of the oven i put one on a plate already for my wife but they're looking right all righty folks so we just pulled her out of the oven we'll cut into this chicken here that's some damn good looking white meat if you ask me so here it goes to that all-important taste test. Hmm. Hmm. Folks, that's really good. So many flavors to the breadcrumbs on top of the chicken, the cheddar cheese, cream cheese, the jalapeno, the chicken. Very good. It took longer than I thought it would. So sitting the normal, like quick, easy meal on a weeknight that I've been trying to focus on, but it was easy, just wasn't quick. Very good. Definitely worth giving it a shot. So please, y'all like, subscribe, let me know what you think, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Now folks, the meal tonight was really, really good, but you know, I'm gonna kind of critique what I do and if there's anything I could do different, the chicken breasts that I bought were really, really big. Like, probably the, the biggest chicken breasts I've ever seen. I would go with smaller chicken breasts. It was almost too much. Um, trying to get through all that chicken to enjoy the extra flavors from the jalapeno, the, the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese. So, but that would be the only thing. Just go with a little bit smaller chicken breasts. Almost maybe those chicken tenderloins would be perfect for this. Uh, but that would that would be the only thing I'd do different. But it was really, really good. All that mixed in together, freaking amazing. So, like I said before, y'all please like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.